Well, the challenge in large tumors is you basically need to first irradiate the cells in order to preserve the patient's life. And then thereafter, you're in big trouble because you have a big tumor inside the eye. These cells are by irradiation inactivated, but they are still there. And these cells might cause something that we call toxic tumor syndrome. So basically, the whole eye is lost due to all this inflammation that then starts being activated inside the eye. So you need to get rid of these um, old tumor cells and you need to find ways of dissecting this tumor out. And previously people have done um, a lot of transclerar resections. That's a very tedious and very dangerous surgery. You have to lower the blood pressure of the patient to a very, very low level. Almost there's no brain perfusion anymore, so you can only do that in healthy patients and in anterior tumors. And then you create something like a flap in the um, sclera and then you cut out the tumor from outside. Bertel D'Amato from um, Liverpool is an expert in this technique. However, as this technique also has um, some problems, you might encounter expulsive hemorrhages and then lose your eyes. We are now mostly doing endoresections. That is a technique that has to do with taking out the vitreous of the eye. So you do a vitrectomy and then thereafter you flatten the retina out with heavy liquid and then you go into that tumor and you cut it out from inside through the retina. And this, of course, can also cause huge hemorrhages during that surgery. So we again have to lower um, the blood pressure of the patient and to elevate our pressure inside the eye during that surgery. And it is um, very important that the time frame in which you do these endoresections is somehow limited because during that period, there is basically almost no perfusion in, this, in the eye. So after you have taken out all the tumor tissue, then you slowly lower the pressure in order to avoid bleeding. And then in the end, you um, exchange um, the heavy liquid um, with silicone oil. And of course, you can choose where your tumor is inside the eye. So for example, if there's a large tumor in the upper or in the temporal area, it is rather difficult to get into that eye. So you have to sit on other sides. So all this surgery in each case requires adaptation to the um, tumor location, to the size of the tumor, to yeah, where the tumor is growing, if it's inside the ciliary body or if it's abutting the optic disc. And therefore it is critically important that you review prior to your surgery your planning data for your irradiation. So there's two tasks basically. No surgery before irradiation. Always do a primary irradiation. Then thereafter you can take out the dead tumor cells, not vice versa. Um, and the second is you need to review your planning data, look at your MRI to be really sure where your tumor is located and where you can enter the eye. Um, we have learned in the past years from these types of surgery that during surgery, if you cut out the choroid overlying one of these vortex veins, during that surgery, heavy liquid and also air could egress. And that can cause a patient's death because they get embolism from the air um, during surgery, which is very threatening. And in order to avoid that, never exchange for air. And if you think about that, if heavy liquid and air can egress the eye, this could as well be with living tumor cells. So if you do that type of surgery without prior irradiation, you might spread tumor cells that then go into the circulation and settle down in the liver and then cause metastasis. So I think it is extremely important to have a prior irradiation of all cells before doing this type of difficult and yeah, extensive surgeries.
So I have had um, several public um, presentations on that topic of tumor surgeries, what to do in which case, and um, yeah, challenging are always the large tumors. And um, yeah, there's some tips and tricks to it. For example, during that surgery, if you take out that tumor, the tumors are um, usually round shaped and they're large tumors. So what you do is you basically enter the tumor and you cut it out from inside. That prevents bleeding from going all over the place and filling your eye and um, occluding your sight. So it is um, rather helpful if you just go in with your cutting probe and stay inside the tumor and only at the very last bit you, you get out and um, take out the tumor remnants.